Hey, what's up guys, Lyndon here. And as a continuation to my webinar that I did earlier this year that spoke about the B2B tech stack, I am continuing on certain areas that certain bits of technology that did not make it into the webinar on time. And that's mainly because I, I wasn't able to review them to get a better understanding as to how valuable they are so that I could present it to you. So in this video, I'm actually covering LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Um, this is actually a spin-off from the first video that I did where I showed how LinkedIn Sales Navigator integrates with HubSpot. But now I'm actually gonna be showing you how you use LinkedIn Navigator to identify leads, specifically for us here in the Caribbean region, and how we can now use those leads to tag, to give to the sales team or give to the marketing team or develop a campaign based upon a targeted list. Check it out. you move from creating a moving from a filter and creating a save search uh, and this is extremely important for let's say for instance sales managers who are looking for or looking to help their teams identify specific accounts so one of the first things that you're doing once you have sales so once you have linkedin sales navigator uh, what you'll do is that you'll go to all filters and then you could use a number of things right so you can identify whether it is that you're looking for you're looking to create this true keywords or custom or other custom options but I will go let's say for instance we want to build on telecommunications All right so from the telecom side of things what will happen is that once I type in this if you notice to the top here it says right it says 8 million but we don't really need 8 million especially for us coming out of the Caribbean so what we want to do is very be very specific to the region that we we want to play in so here, I'm going to say we want to look at Trinidad and Tobago. All right, so I'm going to go for Trinidad and Tobago first. And if you notice, the number immediately changes. Let's see if Trinidad is written a different way that we may be able to pick up additional numbers. All right, so that's that. I click on that. Let's see if it changes. No major change. So let's go for the other big countries within the region. So we want to look at Jamaica. So we have Jamaica picked up. We should see the number change to 13K. Uh, we also want to say, let's look at Guyana. Right, we have a shift that's moved up to 14. Let's take a look at Barbados as well. Right, when we do that, it goes up to 16, right? Now, what we want to do still is we still want to fine tune. So even though we have telecoms here as the keyword search, Let's fine tune the industry. So let's do a simple copy and paste. Any minute now. All right, so we're gonna say telecommunications and it's now sort of come down to 11, 11 key. Um, we wanna say maybe information technology because again, we wanna, people may classify things in different ways. So even though we have telecoms here, we are seeing that we have information technology and services so we want to pick that up as well as part of the filter All right so now that we have that uh, let's just make sure that we don't have anything else struggling right so let's look for technology All right so you have biotech nanotech it's not really a space it's not really those are two filters that we i don't believe that it would be necessary to pick up once you are okay with that then what you do is that you save your search now you could go further you could ident try to identify what schools the person would have attended and the reason or professions or profile language, first name, last name, because you want to be granular. You can look at their relationship with the or re their relationship with you on LinkedIn. And again, one of the reasons why you would want to look for things like relationship and school is that you want to build on things like uh, familiarity. So if we know that someone went to the same school as us and you have made started to make that relationship with them, you can build a relationship by by a leading conversation by saying, you know, I'm just reaching out to connect with you because I realize that we attended the same school and we um, sort of in the same space as it relates to profession. Now you could go further down and you can look for them based upon their seniority. So if you have an idea as to whether you're looking for all the CIOs, CFOs, CTOs, um, CEOs, um, COOs, whatever it is, you can actually type it in there and it will create the filter and your number will change. But let's just say for the sake of this, we will just like to sit with what we have now. As soon as you click search, it is now going to bring up for you that full list. So that 12,000 that you had from there before, it is now here, right? And the cool thing is, is that it's actually now giving you a breakdown as to 
74 of, of this 12,000 would have recently had changed jobs. Um, one post on LinkedIn in the last 30 days, so only one out of all of these people would have posted on LinkedIn recently. 2.5k 2 .5, 2 .5 of them uh, share experiences with you. I'll go into that in a little bit. And seven of them currently follow you or your company. Right, so let's take a look at what it says as it relates to the change jobs, and you'll see. Um, so let's just, let's say, for instance, this particular contact or LinkedIn user recently changed jobs, but they moved from it says he has started a new role three months ago in this particular space. Right, so again, this is all valuable information because it now gives you the ability to understand how you want to structure your conversation especially in one learning about the person towards building the relationship and two towards really understanding where their transition or traje trajectory has been so again it's all about a matter of familiarity um the person who's most active on linkedin you can just go to see as to what that person was and if you click on it it will take you into what is it that they've actually been posting um sharing similar experiences i find this is good as well because again this is how you build that commonality you build that familiarity and um in terms of even you following some of the things that they are doing or showing up in areas that they are because again we have to show up where customers are especially in the digital space so when you're looking at in common you see you guys both belong to trinidad and tobago professionals online so there's a group that we share space with um in this one here, it says in common, both belong to sales marketing, VP forum, and well, you guys would have got, you guys would get the drift because it's showing that you, you, you know, we share similar spaces on certain online groups within LinkedIn, and of course, this will give you the list of persons who are already following your pages, your respective business pages. Once you are happy with this list and you're ready to now structure it in such a way to get the team to start working with or you personally want to start working with it, you can call it, so you're just giving it your own name now, so this will be calling it Leads List, but I'm gonna call it Telecommunications. How often do you want this to give you um, updates? Well, you wanna give you updates weekly, so if anything changes within here, you will be familiar, and from there, you save. And like that, you now have your Leads List. You just created a Leads List for all folks within these respective regions, all right? That's in this piece of telecommunications. So I hope you guys found that valuable. As I say, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is a powerful tool. It does come at a, at a cost per seat. It's about 103, 103 US thereabouts. Um, but at, at the end of the day, if it is that we find $600 TT to be expensive to invest in a salesperson so that they can give us back a particular return, then I might actually question your sales objectives and your sales strategies, you know? so. Let me know, are you using Sales Navigator? Have you had any sort of interest in it before? Was this video valuable to you? And let's really see how we can go about really expanding the conversation as to using bits of tech to help us grow our business and develop our sales. Peace.